a lot. Come on, J Man. Bro. Bro. Come on, G. Come on. Hello all, welcome to the channel. If you haven't already, please like, share and subscribe. We're going to be reacting to 15 rappers who checked stupid interviewers. This looks crazy. Let's check it out and let's find out how it goes. See you on the other side. One love. Welcome to the channel. Let's this check out these videos. Hey man, you guys are nominated tonight. Have a good show. It's a lot. Come on, Jay, man. Bro. Come on, G. Come on, Falk. You ain't get your ass, bro. Man, I tell you everything gonna be this, bro. One rapper <laughs> up this strap on the interviewer for joking too much. And another spit on the interviewer Can for taking up for his op. These are rappers who check stupid interviewers. And we gotta start off with Soldier Boy. Because Soldier mm -hmm. Boy is known for not being scared to speak his mind. And will go off on anyone. In 2019, <laughs> Soldier Boy was doing an interview with Everyday Struggle. And mm -hmm. the main person asking him questions was DJ Academics. Yes. Halfway through the show, Academics starts picking at Soldier. First, he tells him he needs to get rid of his Gucci headband since he wears it a lot. Soldier responds by telling him this and pulling out some racks on Academics money, to man. shut him up. They hate on me because I'm rich. I look better than him. I probably am they like me. I'm a pretty. I look good. I'm sexy. It is you what it is. You gotta that Gucci headband, though, like, No, you know what? This this is a worse thing because y'all keep clowning me. I'm gonna wear it even more so y'all can keep talking. I love it, bro. I <laughs> so love you. Need the mix. I love y'all. I can go back. <laughs> oh, Drake. Oh, hold up. Well, the rack shadow. Oh shit. I can go buy. You know Damn. what I'm saying? I'm a 30 of these headbands, bro. Seconds later, Soldier lets him know he is mad since they tried playing him like he was broke. And that's the main thing that pisses Soldier off because he starts going off on everyone on the show. No, you just tried no to play respect. me like I was broke. No. She was like, y'all think Soldier got money in the bank and y'all think, yo, is you crazy? Soldier then lets DJ Academics and everyone on the show know that they better respect him or things were going to get ugly. He said he was going to slap them because Academics kept trying to downplay Soldier Boy like he was a nobody. Nah, y'all gotta face it and y'all gotta respect me, bro. Oh, I'm slap. Soldier Boy then roasted Academics and let him know he's a hater because Academics kept only mentioning the bad things about Soldier, not the good things he's done. I need the label behind me, Bruh. so I signed a deal. I'm I keep, yo, you just talking to you a hater. That's not hate. You a hater. You try to pull up shit. the b behind it. Nah, everybody know Drake stole my flow, bro, and that's the end of it. He took a line from you, and you took the same line from a. Man, you <laughs> fat as. <laughs> But this isn't the only time a rapper completely went off on DJ Academics during an interview. Because back at the 2017 BET Awards, the Migos were on the red carpet during an interview with Navendra Alexis, DJ Academics, and Joe Button. During the interview, Academics was talking to Takeoff, saying how he was left off the song Bad and Bougie. And Takeoff obviously wasn't happy with Academics asking him this, based on how he responded. Bad and bougie. I, I ain't left off Bad and Bougie. You think I'm left off Bad and Bougie? Say again? You say I'm left off Bad and Bougie? What's that? Academics quickly picked up on the energy and started agreeing with Takeoff so things wouldn't get worse. But that's when Joe Button decided to get he disrespectful. So he cut he Takeoff and Academics off, saying they needed to wrap the interview. That's the one thing I like about the group, because ever since when you were in, in jail, even though you might see one or the other, y'all move as a collective. All right, we got to wrap this up, though. The Migos instantly knew that Joe was trying to be disrespectful. So Quavo told Joe to go ahead and wrap it up. Joe gets even more disrespectful and drops the mic while Academics is paying wow. homage to the Migos and walks out on them. Close it. Close it. Hey, listen, man. I wish I could talk to the Migos longer, man. It's one of my favorite groups. I've been covering for so long. I'm glad they succeeded, man. Hey, man, you guys are... That's when the whole squad stood up and got ready to do something to Joe Button. Nominated tonight. Have a good show. <laughs> but the video only gets crazier really because his next tight. rapper up the pole on the interview Whoa. for joking around Could about his up? op too much since he knew that'll make that Ridiculous. piss FBG butt off. FYB J Main started interviewing Chicago rappers not too long ago. And one day, he decided to bring FBG Butter on his platform since he and Butter are close partners. The interviewer starts off smoothly with J Main since J Main is asking legitimate questions. But midway through, J Main brings up snitching in King Lil J. And this is when Butter starts to get frustrated. At first, J Main pulls out a mousetrap to troll Butter. And he lets J Main know that he needs to chill out. Now look, bro. Another thing. For yo, for yo, rat. Boy, what? Come on, fuck, you playing with me, fuck. This a mouse trap. Man, I don't know nothing about that. Shorty, my Lil spike. Lil J, you was a rat, oh, bro. Oh, two before you touch that, talk about this. 
fit for oh, two of you making me mad, brother. I love you, folks. I'm trying to show you love on camera, folks. I ain't, I ain't going to never flow you out. Hey, wait, fuck, man. Man. You flowing me out, folks. Bro. That's good. That's clown J Man. We gonna start with what you say we gonna start there? Then after Butter tells J Man to chill out since he's actually cool with him and doesn't wanna take things there, that's when J Man continues to bring up Lil J, one of Butter's ops that he fell out with. And you could tell that Butter was serious. Sad, bro. Man, are you stay top about this Gucci man for what you trying to give him some money for? I'm saying he's trying to stop my money. I'm not gonna keep talking about this with this fat and fuck. It's like I'm arguing with my boyfriend and I ain't no man, bro. All right, on two grade, folks, like, I'm keep going back and forth with Lil J and what Lil J say. J-Main then pours out a big block of cheese and sits it on the table. <laughs> since Lil J and other rappers around <laughs> Chicago say that Butter actually snitched on Lil J, which is why they started beefing. So once Butter saw the block of cheese, he upped his strap and cocked it to make J-Main chill out with all the controlling <laughs> about him. And J-Main, since he real deal, doesn't like that dude. It's a lot. Come on, J-Main, Come on, wow. G. Come on, folks. Now that's too far, J Man. We gonna start with why this you, too far, J Man, folks. What the? F that's too far, yeah. folks. Why would you what do that? That, folks. Come on, bro. Hey, we gonna splash. This an interview. I gotta have the handles, man. Bro, me and the handles gonna go, man. Bro, I'm just. Me and the handles gonna. We gonna that slide, man. Fine, that ain't handling the business, bro. Sit down, sit down, bro. You ain't handling the handles, man. Bro, this a joke, bro. Man, ain't no more. Bro, stop pulling out pipes. You want the shit, bro? Yeah, over You know I'm dangerous. Thankfully, it was J-Man interviewing Butter, because if it was someone he wasn't cool with, things would have probably gone way worse. The interviewer might have lost their life, but after this interview went viral, oh, Butter dude. started receiving a lot of backlash for pulling the gun on J-Man, since fans said it wasn't that serious. The police also saw the clip, which almost led to Butter getting arrested on gun charges. Since Butter is on papers, he told everyone it was a skit, so he wouldn't get arrested. Talk, talk to me about that a little bit more. Like, they were just talking about, like, yeah, look at it. He's smashed CL. He brought you a block of cheese. You like they feel like you're a snitch, right? Are you working for the government? I'm too I'm working for no mother government. I ain't, I ain't get paid. Cause you talking about I'm like, and that's my homie. That's a skit. Now, let's move on to Kanye, because he went mega viral back in 2022 for many of his interviews. In one interview with Pierce Morgan, Ye completely went off on Pierce and was talking over him and kept cutting him off like he was a little boy. Ye was talking about him getting dropped from Adidas and how the whole world was trying to cancel him. But Pierce wouldn't stop cutting Ye short, and it pissed him off. You need to go to the top lawyers, the top execs, the owners of the stadiums, the owners of the football teams, and the owners of the record labels, and we're going to put them all in one room, and we're going to read Every top, let's go top ten in each one of these categories, right? Let's read Michael B. Jordan's okay, contract. Okay, but why would any of that? Okay, why would any of that? Why would any of that? Hey, that? bro, hey, hey, bro, I ain't finish. I ain't finished my sentence. Nothing you're, finish nothing my you're saying has idea. anything to do hey, boy, with regret. Hey, hey boy, don't hey, boy, boy, don't finish. <laughs> I told you. Oh, don't treat me like a boy then. I'm going to finish my sentence of my idea. Later in the interview, Jay walked out of the interview since he wasn't rocking with how Pierce was talking to him. After that moment happens, then I will say I'm sorry. Okay. If that's your position, Inter that's clear. Interview, interview adjourned. Love you. <laughs> But it didn't stop there with Ye. A few weeks later, he Kanye went on Tim Pool. And during this interview, he walked off as well, since Kanye was mad that Tim didn't want to speak about Jews, since he knew it would have got him canceled. Because Tim agrees with what Ye is talking about and says they've been unfair to him. That's when Ye asks him, who are they? And wants Tim to put a name on the people who've been unfair to him. Because as I'm getting hosed down every day by the press and financially, I'm just standing there. And when, when I found out that they tried to put me in jail, it was like a dog was biting my arm and I, 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 I almost shed a tear, almost. But I still walked in stride through it. Yeah. I, I, think, I think they've been extremely unfair to you. I Who think. was they, though? But Tim didn't want to be direct since he knew it would have canceled him. So Ye got mad and walked out since the host was beating around the bush. And he wasn't trying to get canceled. I'm not using the... I don't, I don't use the word as the, as the way I guess you, you guys use... I'm, I'm talking about... It is about them, it. though, isn't it? I mean, because... <laughs> no. and, and because when you think <laughs> about it, consider it. In 2018. What do you mean it's not? It, what, what do I mean? Like, uh, uh, okay, so how about. Walk off. Are you leaving? Walk off. Are you afraid? He's gone. 
When interviewing rappers, you have to be careful when comparing them to other rappers. One day, DJ Vlad was interviewing a white drill rapper from Chicago, known as EBE Bands. Around that time, Slim Jesus, another white drill rapper, was going viral and buzzing really heavily. So Vlad posted an article saying that Bands was the next Slim Jesus. And this seemed to upset Bands, since he didn't want to be compared to Slim Jesus due to multiple reasons. Your music video. Right. On Vlad, t- on Vlad TV, right? And, you know, I purposely titled it what I titled it because I wanted it to get a lot of attention. I, you know, I said, you know, the next Slim Jesus question mark. Bands then flashes his gun to scare Vlad, to show him that he's really about that drill life, unlike Slim Jesus. I ain't no next nothing. I've been out before him. Honestly. Months, <laughs> years before I, him. Honestly. In all honesty, Anything. I ain't blow up because my look real and authentic. Not no fool, you know, foolery. My is a CO2 gun. Boy, no, man. No. <laughs> no. And sometimes it's best not to ask rappers about things they've done in the past either. Since it'll make them mad, the Island Boys were on the Danza project. And before coming on the show, they had just gone no, viral not serious. too long ago for kissing each other. A YouTuber known as La Mike was also on the show. And he asked the Island Boys if they were going to kiss it out since they were arguing. That's when they get pissed and stand up, letting La Mike know that they'll whoop him right now. What's in your yeah, you fine bro, with dosing all of you. You fine dosing, right? Pause, pause, pause. Bro, I, that, that's New Orleans lingo for like, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm rolling. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know what dosing is. Listen, I know what dosing hey, is. Hey, yeah. but first of all, I kicked you and you didn't. Right, hey, you, so f- you finally not musty too. Finally right, not musty. All right, bro. Y'all gonna kiss it out? Or like, what's good? Shut your. I ain't right now. That's cap. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back up. What you gonna do about it? Whoa, 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 whoa. You see how I did that? Look. Let's talk, let's talk real life. Not long after that, everything calms down. And one of the Island Boys talks about how he doesn't care what haters and people on the internet say about him. That's when Danza says, if they feel that way, why do they get mad when someone brings up the topic of them kissing? The Island Boys let Danza know (laughs) he'll tear up all the podcast equipment for bringing that topic up again. And they almost fight. They gotta say, man, they're gonna hate on you regardless. But but you say what they gotta say. That's what you say. Right, but at the end of the day, let's keep it 100 because we got both of y'all here too. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, what's going on with that's with, with you two kissing each other? Shut your ass. Break this. Break this hey, hey, yo, that ass. I would love to see you try. Bro, what are you talking about? I would love to see you try. That is crazy. But these two aren't the only rappers who get sensitive about that topic. A rapper known as Baby Los started to make a name for himself after he linked up with the Island Boys in 2020. Fans even considered him the fourth Island Boy. But not too long ago, Rich Kevin tried to get Los to speak on the viral video of the Island Boys kissing. And this is what upset Los and made him flash out on the interviewer. I gotta ask you, bro, like, this is... Everybody wants to know... Did you see... The Island Boys kiss. Bruh, stop mentioning them dudes for real, bruh. Like, no, I'm just saying, though, like, no, did you bruh, see them no, do no, something together? Oh, no, 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 fam. Fam, they weren't gay when I was around, fam. Like, bruh, stop doing that, bruh. Like, this interview ain't about that. Like, it could go down in this interview, bruh. Why, like, bruh, gun. Really? Do you want it to go down in this interview? No need for that. Do you want it to go down? Yes or no? Nah. After the incident, Lowe's was getting a lot of backlash. So he uploaded a video trying to clear his name because he said he did it since the interviewer wouldn't listen and stopped speaking about the Island Boys to him. I know all y'all been seeing that interview that been going viral, bruh. I know y'all been seeing it. But if you literally watched the last interview before that, I told him, stop speaking on them. Them dudes went rainbow. Why would I want to be associated? So in the recent interview that y'all clearly see that's going viral, he want to ask me about them like, fam, I just told you, don't. It's a good thing the interviewer stopped speaking on it after that because things probably would have been way worse if he had continued talking about them. Now, let's move on to 16 Shot Him because even though 16 isn't a rapper, he's known in the rap scene for interviewing a lot of rappers. So one day, 16 was on No Jumper getting interviewed by Flacco, one of the members of the No Jumper team. During the interview, 16 tells Flacco it's like he's playing both sides since Flacco is cool with one of 16's ops but trying to be cool with him at the same time. It's like you f- with me, then you're some police f- too. How is that 
our fault, though, because you said, right? We, what like, you mean, how's your fault? You standing behind no. You calling me a clout chaser and you standing behind this uh, showing you No, 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 right? I don't want you to be on my side, bro, but stop. Bro, stop. I think it's you're like a clout chaser. It's like you the game. Blacko then called 16 Kevo to piss him off, since Bandman Kevo is the person 16 has beef with. So 16 tells Flacco to stop playing with him before he smacks him. And that's when things get crazy, because 16 does this next. Hey, Kevo. shut up. I just said, let the man talk. What'd you say, Kevo? <laughs> bro, suck my bro. That's a, hey, that's stop bro. playing before I smack hey, out. Just do it. Mm. Hey, no, 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 no. Watch out. We ain't doing that yet. Thankfully, security was there because things would have been way worse oh, since they spit on each other. Now, let's move on to Snoop Dogg because in 2011, Snoop went to Norway for an Adidas promo. He unfortunately no. arrived late to the interview, so the report straight up bagged Snoop why he was late. But Snoop told him to be happy that he's there late. since he didn't have to show up at all. Five wow. hours late here. And man, shut up. Come on, man. No, we just saw you on oh, Twitter. Come on. No, from the border. Five hours late. I'm here. Be happy I'm here. Snoop then tells the interviewer to get out of there and makes the dude leave the room since he wasn't asking him any real questions. Now, let's move on to ESTG. He was doing an interview with Bootleg Kev and got mad that Kev was talking more about his football career than his music career. Kev talks about seeing a picture of G in some football equipment and asks G for more details about it. So G asks him how he sees the picture but not read an article about it. I've seen this picture of you at the NFL Combine. Yeah. Which... Well, you yeah, ain't seen no picture of no NFL Combine. Well, I saw you in, like, the NFL Combine looking like workout. Yeah, like a, a workout. Was that just a workout you were doing for a team? I don't know how you see the picture. You ain't read the article that came with Kev continues only talking about football. So G asks Kev what any of this has to do with music since G came on the platform to talk about his music. What do I got to do with music? No, I'm just curious because I'm a big football fan. So like, I'm just like, I just, I, I'm a huge football fan. And I find it fascinating that like you really like have like a real high level like football run. You know what I'm saying? Before the rap. And you can tell this really pissed G off since he stopped talking and was ignoring Kev. Then, seconds later, he got up and walked out of the interview since he was annoyed with Kev. Let me... <laughs> yeah, talk about music. Talk about NFL. He wants to talk about the music scene, the music game, the album, like podcast history. We had someone walk off of the set. Yeah. Now, let's move on to upcoming Atlanta rapper, Baby Kia, because he was doing an interview with Lil Pistol. Pistol is known for trying to roast and joke around with rappers during his interviews. But while doing this, Pistol takes things a little too far and okay. decides to ask BK a very weird and suspicious question. That's when BK checks Pistol and instantly lets him know that he doesn't play like that. Yeah, yeah. A female ever tried to eat your before? Hey, <laughs> Where the hell you from? Memphis. 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 I don't know. I don't play that. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I'm scared. Of, I'm scared. Like, no, I ain't gonna lie. Pistol's whole mood changes, and he chills out with all the joking, since he knows BK is serious and doesn't want things to go bad on the interview. Now, let's move on to the rapper Petey Weestraw, because Petey stars the interview and everything is cool. But the interviewer tries picking on Petey after Petey doesn't know the exact age he moved to the state he lives in now. Local artist Petey Weestraw. What's good, Straw? What's happening? Hey, it's good to have you here at Birmingham. Unsigned but major bio interviews. And uh, I just want to ask you a few questions so the fans can get to know you a little better as an artist. That's cool with you? Yeah, that's cool with me, squad. All right, bet. So first off, we start off by asking you, where you from, man? Tell everybody where you from. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana, with the 504, you know what I'm saying? Moved up here to the 205 Birmingham, Alabama when I was about what, three, six, nine years old. What? Which one, when you man? Was, when you was about three, six, nine years old. <laughs> yeah. Uh, three, six, nine, like... Yeah, man, yeah. Okay, and uh... Seconds later, the interviewer's phone starts ringing. He fires back at the interviewer, saying that's disrespectful. And he's messing up yeah. his interview. From there, things start to get tense between the two. Okay, and uh... I can be edited out, calm down. But I'll... Like I 
I said, they can be edited out, man. Calm down. Hello? The interviewer didn't acknowledge Petey at all and talked on the phone during half of the interview. You could tell that Petey was stressed about that. Hmm. It must be hot in there or something else is happening. My bad, strong. That's when the interviewer let Petey know he apologizes for that. But Petey tells him he's going to let that one slide. The interviewer goes back to asking him questions. But with one question, Petey doesn't answer. So the interviewer makes a smart statement saying that isn't what he asked. Man, that was my wife. He had called me on some emergency. But, you know, back to Say what? I said, that was disrespectful. I don't get no What I'm saying is, back, back to the interview, man. Back to the interview. I apologize, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was kind of unprofessional, but at the end of the day, you know, we all have, we, we all have, you gonna let it slide. <laughs> let everybody know, we know what started you with this music. Man, I'm trying to reach the top. All these in Birmingham, man, you know about my Birmingham top 10 countdown, right? That gonna be up, chunk. Right. Yeah, man, but it got But I asked, I asked, the question was, let everybody know how you got started. Like, what got you started? And Petey gets pissed, letting the dude interviewing him know that he'll tear everything up in the house since he's disrespecting him during his interview. You got me started. <laughs> I'm saying you pissed me off with the guy. conversation, bro. You ain't do that to nobody else. I seen, I, I seen the other that you did, bro. You ain't do that Fam, else. first off, we edit videos. So, like, like that happened. I don't give a saying, and it get edited, my So, you don't know what I did with the other people. Calm down, and you gonna you gonna either do your interview or you gonna get the it's, it's whichever one you wanna do, my nigga. You a favor. Whichever one you wanna do. I'm doing you a doing you a favor. Bro, how the doing me a motherfucking favor? Okay then. So don't nobody do no motherfucking favor for me. Let's get that right, bro. Okay then. On everything, bro. Don't even come at me like that. For real. Gonna make me better. So I'm gonna do you a favor until you get the out. What do you mean get the out, bro? Fuck out my house. Man, I tear everything up, bro. You tear it up. Tear it up, then. Get your. And if the interviewer had been strapped, things probably would have been way worse, since Petey probably would have done him badly. But speaking of getting done bad, rapper Fat Drench caught his op and did him bad on live. And there you have it. We'll leave it there, guys. Um, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about these um the interviews. The interviewers are also as crazy sometimes as the interviewees. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Um, stay safe and take care out there and I'll see you on the next one. One love. Like, share and subscribe.